good all right this is my brand new 10 inch Tramontina made in America made in America by God I'm fixing to do my first cooking with it I've already cleaned it and seasoned it and get some butter melted up in there Well, you missed the flip. Actually, it was <clears throat> me. I forgot to turn the camera on. All right, I've got asparagus. This is pre-cooked. I just got it out of the microwave, right out of a can. Here, let me drain that water out of there before I do anything with it. All righty, asparagus omelet. with some poquito de queso. Oh yeah. I'm gonna let that cook for just a minute and flip it, and uh, not flip it, but yeah, flip the other half over. All right. God Lord, that's a huge freaking omelet right there. I'll let that cheese melt in just a second. Almost ready. Let's eat. All right, we're gonna have a little comparison here between uh, <clears throat> Frank's Red Hot <clears throat> and uh, Texas Pete. I tried Texas Pete on a burger yesterday, and uh, man, I didn't taste any difference between it and uh, the Frank's Red Hot. Maybe on an egg, it'll be a little different. So. All right. Well, I, can, I can tell you that Frank's Red Hot seems like it's a little thicker than the Texas Pete. So that would, you see, uh, the Texas Pete is running off the egg. The Frank's Red Hot is not. So let's cut this right down the middle here. And we'll give it a, we'll give the uh, Frank's Red Hot a taste. Oh yeah. That is a combination that does go well. You just, when you say asparagus omelet, it doesn't sound like it would work, but it's damn good. All right, here's a Texas Pete. And you see, can you see how it's run off? So definitely, for no other reason than uh, the hot sauce staying on the what you put it on, the Frank's Red Hot is uh, better in that regard. Now taste, I don't know yet. In all honesty, I can't taste a bit of difference between the two. So if I were to make a choice, I would choose the Frank's Red Hot simply because it's thicker and it seems to stay on what you put it on a little better. Texas Pete's good stuff, and uh, 
I am going to make up a barbecue sauce for some uh, chicken legs and I'm going to be, it's actually chicken leg quarters and I'm going to be uh, grilling and I'm going to mix up uh, some Texas peat. I wasn't going to use Frank's, but I'll use some Texas peat, some honey, brown sugar, and some Heinz 57. And uh, that'll be another video. Thanks for watching. Asparagus omelet. Damn good.